in the morning on a Friday to go to work. And on your way to work, you discover that there's so much traffic in London that you can't move. So I boarded the bus. The bus got almost to the toll gate. Instead of the driver to wait and pay, he made a turn at the toll gate to get to make an alternative route, thinking it was better. We got there, the alternative route was locked down. All had to alight from the bus. And I've spent almost two hours on the road to get to work just this morning. Now I've resorted to taking a ride. Even getting this ride was a hassle. No open was in sight. opportunities in Nigeria. If you can run a ride company, times like this would be a good time for you to make money. Like I said, I stood there for a long time trying to get an old pay, pay ride. They were not in sight. I saw one, he refused to pick me. Yes, he wasn't going my route. So, I got this. And this is a private ride. So come invest in Nigeria. We need more of these rides on the road for days like this. We just made our way through the Lekki Toll Gate. This is Oriental Hotel on this side. Can, can you imagine this guys? This stretch is a long stretch. This traffic is a long stretch. People are going to get to work late today. That one is a given. We are stuck now. So many of us in Nigeria, especially Lagos. So many of us. <laughs> so you see, I can see Ope, but they are not enough to serve our needs. So come and invest. This is crazy. The good thing is my supervisor understands our plight so she's very considerate. So I'm not really bothered that I've informed her about the situation so I'm a bit relaxed. I'm not scared of any reprimand at the office this morning. Look at this. Riders Association of Lagos. I'm a member today. <laughs> It's, it's, we keep moving <laughs> even in traffic guys so this is my flight look at that I must get to work today 
is it like this in your city guys drop a comment for me do you usually experience this in your country or your city i want to know because it's beginning to seem like lagos is notorious for traffic you just wake up on a normal day without anticipating this kind of traffic window you just get stuck in it and you are there like nothing to do you just have to think of a smart way out so drop a comment guys i want to know do you experience this in your country your city the incident that happened you can see 122 of them still missing so my name is faceless sorry their names are here but no faces they are still unknown still unidentified guys it's not crazy then i don't know what else would be Follow more right now. I'm going to Balende all the way to Yaba. The entire city is locked, guys. Like traffic gridlock. Wish our employers would just declare today public holiday for us. One rest. Because it's a Friday anyway. Will that happen? I doubt. Our official reason. 
consumption time is 8 a.m. I left the house at 6 a.m. This is 9 o'clock. I'm still on the road because of this traffic. So it gets this bad. This bad some days. So guys, I'm finally at Obalende. As I like it, I'm going to take a bus here to Yaba because my office is at Yaba. I Give me hundred now, collect two hundred. Now the hundred take collect two hundred. Two hundred day, give me hundred now, beg. My brother, beg. Maybe they go. Hello, sir. They usually have the usual change has when you enter buses. Now you can see the usual change has when you don't have your So I'm finally in the office now, thank God, finally, after spending hours on the road. And like I said, I have a supervisor who understands, so she didn't reprimand me. She was rather empathetic. Talk about having a good boss. <laughs> so guys, let me settle in. So like, that's just one of, the, um, one of those things that happen with living in Lagos. You just wake up and some things happen unexpectedly. So if you, for those of you planning to come to Lagos, to come live here and all, so I share this so that you will know and you know, prepare your mind for what to expect when you decide to finally relocate to Lagos and all of that. So yeah, that's it. And then the ride I took, I ended up paying a thousand naira, which is like a whole week's um, bus fare because bus fare from my bus stop to yeah, by to Obalende is usually two hundred, and I paid that from Lekki all the way to Obalende. So it's like a whole week's bus fare, but I had to pay it in one single trip just. You know to find my way to the office so those are some of the sacrifices you make with living in lagos and then this is an investment opportunity we need more rides like that on the road there were so many people going and um, going to work who were stuck and needed the ride but couldn't get to so come invest in nigeria we need more rides on the road and more innovative means of transportation the lagoon is there what can we do to harness it and you know is the transportation burden on the roads come and invest in nigeria guys so thank you so much for watching like i said let me settle in and walk if you are new here and if not subscribed click the subscribe button and the bell beside it just so you become a full member of the grace squad i will see you guys in my next video bye